Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone, Tip Benson here and in today's video I'm going to share with you my top 10 best fragrances for spring, for women, for 2020. 2020, better behave, okay? If you want to hear what my fragrances are that I choose to wear this spring and I highly recommend for you, make sure you keep watching. So before I jump into this video, I just want to say that my heart goes out to everyone who has been affected from COVID-19. 2020 is acting like something else right now and I am just... Oh, it is just so much. And I know that it is so much for everyone. I know that in my family, I have been affected. Um, a couple of my family members have been affected. It is just, it is a lot to take. It's a lot to handle. And um, my prayers are with you. I am praying for my subscribers, my friends, my family. I am literally praying for the world because... I just want this to be over with. I'm sure like everyone else. I wanted to put this video together here and share it with you today because I definitely wanna bring some joy and light in your heart. So many people have messaged me on Instagram asking me to come back and do videos and I'm like, yes, I will come back because I want to, you know, just bring some joy, light, positivity, like, you know, we will always love fragrance. This channel will always love fragrance. That is what we are all about. Out. So let's talk fragrance. Let's take our minds off of what's happening in the outside world, even if it's just for a little while. So that being said, when I am not here on YouTube, I am almost always on Instagram. That is the easiest way to reach me. So definitely follow me there. That is where I always am. Slide in my DM, say hello, shout me out, give, blow me a kiss, and I'll give you a kiss back. And if this is your first time meeting me here on this channel, hello, I am Tiff. We talk fragrance on this channel, so do subscribe so that you can stay up to date for all my videos that I post here about fragrance. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Give this video a big thumbs up so we can get started. Make sure you leave me a comment right now and let me know what fragrances you've been wearing so far in 2020 and what fragrance you choose to wear for spring. I am super curious. So this is gonna be my 2020 designer edition. So these fragrances are gonna be more easily found. They're designer scents. They're more approach approachable, easier to wear. So let's jump right in, in no particular order. First scent that we have here is Bulgari Rose Goldia Blossom Delight. So this is a super duper uber floral. It is rose petals, Damascus rose. It is musky, springy, but light. If you like fresh, beautiful, light fragrances that are easy to wear, but are floral and feel pretty and just remind you of spring, this is a fragrance that you should definitely give a try. I got a chance to partner with them on my Instagram account. I'll leave a photo here. And that's how I discovered this fragrance. And I actually really fell in love with it. It's not a fragrance that I would pick for myself normally. But when I was paired with it and I got a chance to live with it for a little while, I definitely saw the allure of this beautiful scent. Highly recommend it, so definitely give it a try. The next fragrance that I wanna to bring to you is by Maison Margiela Replica. This fragrance is called Springtime in a Park. So it already tells you that this is for spring. What I love about the Replica line is that these scents are inspired by times and places and moments, and they also list the moments here on the, the face of the bottle. This one is inspired by the place of Shanghai, and it also has a fragrance description, which is blossom and fruity notes. So if you don't like to dig to see what your notes are in your perfume, you can always find them on the replica bottles. It's also unisex. This is a unisex scent. I dug a little deeper because your girl always wants to know what is inside of these beautiful fragrances. And there also is a paracord, which is the fruity side, lily of the valley, and it is also quite musky. I got the opportunity to go to their release, their uh, New York release of this scent, and it was just beautiful. It was done in a loft. It was um, 
all white lofts and they had blossoms all around. It was just really, really wonderful. And I actually really fell in love with the fragrance that day. And I, I told them, I told the brand, I was like, you're going to do well with this one because it smells really good. If you like musky scents, you're going to love it. To me, this kind of smells similar to, it's in the same vein. It's not inspired by, but it smells similar to a fragrance by Ralph Lauren that's in a blue bottle. Um, I'll reference it down below in the description. But anyway, it's a wonderful scent for spring. Give it a try. Up next, we have a fragrance from the House of Gucci. It is called Memoir d'une Odeur, and I am obsessed. This scent is so special to me um, because it kind of just reminds me of myself. It is like a standout scent that doesn't do what you'd expect it to do. Like when I first saw this bottle, I was like, oh, I'm obsessed with the bottle. Bottle's gorgeous. And then I smelled it and I was like, wow, that does not smell like a Gucci scent. Like it is completely opposite of everything that is out there on the market. It is like unapologetically different. And I love that about this fragrance. It's earthy, it's green. It has notes of Roman chamomile. It also has um, vanilla. Jasmine is very um, heavy in this fragrance, but this is not a jasmine scent. It's more of a chamomile tea-like floral concoction that just smells wonderful. Definitely give it a try if you consider yourself unapologetically different. You don't care if people like your scents. You know, it's about you. It's not about anything else. It's just between you and your fragrance. And I love it. I do. I do. I really, really do. That's why I'm recommending it for spring for both men and women. Up next, we have one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fragrances from the house of Tom Ford. It is Soleil Blanc and I also have it in the travel size. This fragrance is super near and dear to my heart because I was fortunate enough, blessed enough to do a campaign with Sephora and Tom Ford for one of the biggest nights of my professional career in the fragrance industry. I was nominated for a Fragrance Foundation Award. Anyway, I got to wear this beautiful dress and also wear one of my, you know, most one of the most beautiful fragrances from the house of Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc. I love this scent. It literally reminds me of luxuriating poolside at the beach, you know, just chilling, relaxing, living my best life the best way that I know how because that's what I do. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. It has notes of bergamot, pistachio, and cocoa de mer. And I'm telling you, I love it so much that I, oh, you know, I, this is like my signature right now. But when I am on the go or whenever I am traveling, I use this. It's like a little decant. Well, not little, it's actually quite generous. Um, and I fill it up. It is refillable. It's wonderful. It smells great. I am just obsessed. I'm obsessed. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this scent. Blind by worthy. Trust me, you will adore it for spring and beyond. Up next, I have a fragrance from... This is another fragrance that is near and dear to my heart. I'm picking all my faves for you guys. This is Alien by Mugler. I got an opportunity last year to partner with them. I went to Chicago because they were opening up a boutique and I thought that I was going to speak to Angel. I did all this research on Angel because I love Angel, right? Like who doesn't love Angel? And they paired me with this. They paired me with Alien and I was like, why'd y'all do that? But once I gave it a chance, I fell in love with it. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Super wearable, really nice to wear. It does so many different things. I guess that's why you call it air, they call it alien because it has like this foreign sort of appeal. It's, it's hard to explain, but let me get into the notes. Prominent notes here are jasmine, cashmere wood, and ambergris. And it's just, it comes alive on the skin. 
I mean, it's beautiful for any season. I love it for spring. I love that it comes in this gorgeous little bottle. It looks really special and decadent. It's easy to travel with this one. It's also refillable. You know, the moral of the story is you can't judge a book by its cover. You have to try your fragrances on, even if you don't think you'll like it, because you can, you'll miss out on beautiful gems, gems of a fragrance like this one, Alien by Googler. Up next is a fragrance that I absolutely adore too, especially for spring, and it comes in this wonderful bottle. It is called Sea Fiori. Now this one has notes of black currant, vanilla, and orange blossom, and I'm just gonna spray it on the skin. It's super easy to wear. It's definitely grab and go worthy. Sometimes when I'm not sure what I'd like to wear, and I think I, you know, like I say, I I think to myself, I want to wear something sensual, but easy to wear, like something not too deep, but really nice. I'll get some compliments on it. This is that scent for me. The bergamot and orange blossom keeps the fragrance really fresh and the vanilla keeps it somewhat sensual and deep. I just like it and I think it's perfect for the spring weather. In my opinion, every woman needs a Chanel fragrance in her life and this one is mine. It is Gabrielle Chanel. Adore this fragrance. It is, it has a beautiful bottle, first of all, right? It's a four faceted fragrance. It has orange blossom, jasmine, tuberose, and ylang ylang. And for me, like this is just an easy, breezy way to wear a Chanel fragrance and I absolutely adore it. I can't get enough of it. I really, really can't. This scent to me has that Chanel DNA, but it's a little bit more modern. It's a little bit more updated. It feels approachable and more wearable, feels super youthful. It's not your ordinary Chanel fragrance and that is what I love about it. And I do believe it's perfect for the spring and hot weather. Up next, we have a fragrance by Versace. It is called Versace Dylan Blue Poi Femme. I experienced this fragrance for the first time when I was on a trip to Las Vegas and I was like, damn, I have to buy that. It has notes of black currant and patchouli. And to me, it does this really, wow, it does this really interesting thing where it kind of is like salty and sweet. It also has like a floralness to it. Oh my God, this is a good one. This is like, you know, your girl's going out, you wanna feel sexy. Oh my gosh, like when I think of like a typical iconic woman in Versace, like this is what I imagine her wearing. Just well put together, fabulous. You know, it's definitely a fabulous bright scent. And every girl needs one of those scents in their um, fragrance wardrobe. You know, something that makes you feel glamorous. It's like a showstopper of a scent. Dylan Blue Poif Femme does that and more. And I really love this one for spring and even summer. Yves Saint Laurent Libre, which means freedom. It is divine. First of all, bottle, stunning. Stunning. You put this on your vanity, you've already elevated your entire situation. Fragrance, the juice inside, even better. The fragrance has lavender, which it is a, yeah, it's a lavender scent. It's super aromatic. Um, orange blossom, oh my God, yes. And musk accords. I just love it. It is so good. This, in my opinion, and my Versace Dylan Blue, these are big, beautiful fragrances. These are for my makeup bistas, you know, girls who want to be noticed. You wear this, people will notice you. It has a lot of sillage. It has a lot of presence. It's a pretty girl scent. You know, it's just one of those scents where... You pick it up and you're the most beautiful woman in the room. And that is what I really like about this scent. You know, it is it is definitely unapologetically loud. 
but in the best way. I got a chance to go to their opening, um, to the release of this fragrance in New York City, different time, you know, pre-COVID and it was fabulous. Like we just had like a ball that night. I'll leave some clips here. But anyway, I highly recommend this scent. I own it, love it, you know, can't go wrong with it. And it's very, very, very nice for spring. Last but certainly not least, possibly one of my favorite fragrances here on this countdown for spring is Tega Veneta's Illusione. <sighs> for one, I realize that I am secretly in love with Italian scents, Italian fragrances. Um, the style of Italian perfumery is really beautiful to me and I get to experience it here. Also, the bottle is gorgeous, stunning. The cap, minimalist, just wonderful. The scent is also quite special too, so let's dive into the notes. This fragrance is the only fragrance that I own that has a note of olive tree in here. And you kind of get that in the fragrance. It smells quite olivey, but not in, um, don't think olive oil, think the, the woods of the tree. It also has fig leaf, black currant, an orange blossom. This fragrance is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is fresh. It's warm. It just smells like effervescent life on the skin. That is the best way I can describe it. I smelled this fragrance when I was traveling through Duty Free and I bought it immediately. I was in Paris Funny story is that I was supposed to be going to Italy, but I said, you know what, let me just go home from Paris. And I walked into this Italian boutique called Bottega Veneta. And I just was like, this is what I'm bringing home with me, a little piece of Italy, um, no matter where I go. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I think that you would love it too. I think it's perfect for spring, but it's also very nice for all year round. So so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also let me know, do not forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you'll be wearing this spring. The conversation continues over in the Fragrance Society, my private group of fragrance lovers from around the world. It is an email list, so if you choose to, I will leave a link in the description for you to sign up and subscribe. I've missed you and I will be back very soon, probably with my niche list because I've already created it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that is where I am when I am not here. I love you forever. Don't forget to watch what's up next and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.